Hi, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a cute bat. We're going to be using any marker, so just grab any marker and we'll get started. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like uh, so that you can see every kind of Halloween video I start putting up. I'm going to start putting a lot of videos up until Halloween, so let's get started. It's uh, for beginners, by the way, and kids, uh, or you know, kids and up, but for uh, mainly beginners. So let's get started with this bat. So I'm going to start right here with a circular shape. Think of like a U shape, uh, and it's going to be going up right here into double points. I'm going to pull that across. There you go. Now, let's put in the eye. It's on one side. Eye on the other side. Furrowing eyebrows, so it's just two lines kind of going downward at the center. And I would say in the actual dot of the eye, try to leave a kind of a white spot, and that's going to indicate a highlight. All right. Now we're going to draw a straight line. Cross. All right. And now we're going to draw little fangs sticking downward. And that is going to indicate the kind of bat, batness, a batness, I don't know. But it's going to indicate it's a bat, it's like a, you know, sharp animal, it's, good. it's cute, but it's still dangerous, right? It can kind of come at you at any point. So then we're going to start with the left wing. All we have right now is like a little bean looking thing, but now we're going to start with the wing. So we're going to pull to the left here and pull up a bit. We're going to throw an arc, a large arc from the top part of that. Okay. Now we're gonna pull in, but not entirely in. We're gonna throw like an upside down U shape. Do it again. Try to fit at least three of these U's until you hit the body, but you don't. You can do three or four. Pull it again. Let's do four. And then one more time into the into the main body. So we're pulling one, two, three, and then kind of four is that last one. You can do three if you want. Try to keep it more than two. Uh, <coughs> and if you make it more than five, I think it starts looking kind of uh, weird. And now what we're gonna do is go draw an indication of the folds and the wing. So we're gonna draw a straight line, aiming from the, the peaks of those points. All right, really simplistic. Are you with me? I hope you're with me. Now we're gonna draw almost the same shape of uh, the other wing on the other side. Pull up. If you want, you can make it a little bit different. There's more of a curve here. This one has more of a kink here. This has got a curve. Pull out. Try to equal that shape on the other side. Pulling in. That one shape right here, the upside down U. Pulling in again, pulling in again, and then up. So one, two, three, and then up, that fourth one. You still with me? All right, now we're gonna go and we're gonna pull that line, same thing on the other side, into the crevice of that area. And then one more. And there you go. That is a bat, a really simplified bat. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, since I'm not gonna fill it in this time, this is a different version, is I'm gonna create a bold line around it. And the bold line is essentially made, so I'm gonna create a, a bold line around the contour, they call it. And the reason I wanna do that is I wanna do that because it gives it a sticker look. It makes it look uh, 
Uh, I don't know, like, when you put a thicker line on the outside of something, it gives the inside more complexity. I don't know what it is. It, it, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly why, but it gives it a more of a, like I said, it's like you can physically pick up this sticker or a more of a graphic design look. So, see, it kind of gives it a bit of a, I don't know, it's, it's just a different look in general. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it, but I love doing that. I think it has a like, really cool, interesting vibe to it. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Uh, let me know, what is your favorite kind of vampire movie? Because vampires is such a big part of Halloween lore. I love it. Also, don't forget, there are... Uh, there are Halloween templates that I created just for this channel and just for Halloween time. So it's only about 20 days left, maybe less. And they are basically how-to guides that I put into sheet form. So I looked at some older videos and I put, I made sheet versions of them for you. Uh, there's over a hundred. It's a hundred and they're in a PDF and they are made to print out. They're eight and a half by 11. They're made to print out on a computer. Uh, at will so go check that out in the link in the description. I put it on my gumroad uh, Gumroad is you know a service that will kind of like let people uh, Essentially like store things on there. So go check that out in the link below. I appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next video Don't forget to answer that question. Talk to you soon